Hello everybody, this is Manuel. Today into this P-Series tutorial, I would like to uh, show you how to remove a lighthouse in Within Photos using a new extension that I'm using uh, called Snap Heal. And this is a MacFon extension you can find on the App Store for $6.99 Canadian. And uh, yeah, you can do a bunch of things. Like you can say, you can remove people from the water and whatnot. So um, I got this snap heel for free. Uh, I was um, entering a contest in Viewbug, which is a, um, a, a contest website where you can enter and store photos and whatnot. It's free. You should sign up and show your images. And who knows, you may win some cool stuff or get some free software once in a while. So, if I go to my edit panel in photos, uh, you will need to go to your extension, press more, and then you can add the snap heel extension. So, the way you do this, if you haven't done anything like that before, I'll show you. It's fairly simple. You go to your uh, photos here, you're going to see your extension. You just have to tick what's available to you. And then you close this. The next time you go to extension, it is there for you. So we're going to open Snap Seal and Snap Heal, sorry. And uh, this is what you see. So this is a great software. You can see here the main component of this software. You get the erase, you get the retouch, and you get the adjust. So even this, as a standalone application, works great to do a lot of adjustment to your photos. So there's a brush now you could use if you want to do just retouching. So let's say we want to add, uh, I don't know, we want to sharpen these mountains. So you just add your sharpen up, you use uh, whatever size brush you need to use, and then you go ahead and you just sharpen the image, whatever you're going to do. Now, if you don't really like what you see, uh, you can go back and revert to what it was. So the adjust, the brush, very nice. Uh, you can uh, take a look at your mask that you do with your brushes and stuff. So there's a lot of things you can do. Or if you go to the adjust panel, you can do the all around adjustment to your photo. So if you think that your photo is too dark, you can crank up the exposure or put it down or whatever it is. Whatever you do, you can always double click on the name of your tab and it will revert back to zero. So shadow, same idea. It is a very good application that way where you can do a lot of different things. But primarily what I want to show you is, is this working great to remove stuff? So let's have a look. So what we're going to do here is we're going to zoom. Zoom in so we can actually take a look at the lighthouse there. So let's zoom, 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 zoom. Use the hand and then we're going to move that around and we're going to zoom a little bit more. So we're super close to. Then we're going to choose our brush in the erase panel there. And then uh, this diameter is a little big. So we can either choose to change it by hand there to a uh, level we like, or we can go with the default. So 100 is way too big. So let's go to maybe around 27. So all you got to do very simply is to paint around. So you don't have to do it in one shot. If you want to, you can kind of like do it in like one line at the time or take your time and see what really works for you. So uh, whatever it's red uh, is the area that you want to remove. So we will remove the building as well here as the lighthouse. So uh, Photoshop is the, you know, the expensive software, complicated software, which I use all the time, by the way, I'm a big fan of Photoshop, but um, may not be for everybody. It's not in anybody's budget. Uh, even now, you have the photography plan with Adobe, which um, costs $10 US a month. Well, here it is. Sometimes it's it's a little too much for people. So having like a $7 software that'll do that type of work is just fantastic. So now that we highlighted the things we want to remove, we're going to press erase. And there's different erasing method here. You get the global, local, or dynamic, and you always have that little kind of quote there every time you wait, which is kind of cool, really. So um, whenever that's done, whenever we replace things or erase things, we don't erase things, we replace things. So what I mean by that, the lighthouse was here. So what the software did is it 
went and grabbed a little bit of like pixel or a little bit of this image and put it there, a little bit of this image. So that's why we see that flag coming back here. So if we don't like that, we're just going to bring that diamond back a little bit. And we're just going to take this flag out of there. And then uh, we're going to try this again, raise and see what happened. We're going to have the other quote that we won't have the time to read because it was too quick. And here it is. It is gone. The building is gone. Doesn't look too weird. So now we're going to go to uh, zoom out. Sorry, my bad. And here it is. Our lighthouse is gone. So we're going to say save changes because we are happy with what we just did. And here it is. We're back into uh, photos. Our lighthouse is gone. And we're back to our project. So that's our before and after type of thing, right? So it's a decent job. Again, you can do that for $7 in within photos. So I highly suggest that you guys get on it because this is just a great extension. So uh, something to add up to the collection that you're having there. And here it is. So hopefully you guys like this video and you look into this uh, little software here on the App Store and keep building your extension um, at a very low cost with photos. Alright, thanks for watching guys.